tensions were rising in the mobs of Little Italy, Brooklyn, and Chinatown. They tried working together, but criminals can't be trusted. Mind your business. I see you. That's Al Capella, the real deal boss of Manhattan. Don't mess with him unless you collect horse heads. This guy's Amador Condimento. He's the boss of Brooklyn. Pedals in condiments. This is Chinatown's triad boss, Hong Fat. He speaks English, but when he wants you to feel small, it's all Chinese. Gentlemen! And then there's Sean O'Greedy, our crime commissioner on the take. Everyone's corrupt in this town. A decade ago, we moved away from drugs and gambling to run oils and spices and herbs. We are the original crime syndicate, begun centuries ago by Marco Polo. We've made fortunes selling addictive flavors, holding shops and restaurants hostage to bulk orders without discounts. Your gripes threaten everything. Look, Capella's past his prime. He let the Chinese overtake Martin Mulberry Street, our in his territory. This is coming from a guy who's still stuck in the services. Look at that freaking outfit, would you? Look at his men. How dare you talk to me like that? You were nothing but a broken down fight promoter until I made you what you are. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. Sit down! Listen! I don't want your trouble. Get in my business! Watch your mouth. Who the hell are you talking to? Tom Wu. 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 Tom but when the feast is over, no one cares about the sauce. What does that mean? Nobody cares about the sauce. Pukai! <laughs> what does that mean? Means asshole. No, I know what it means. North to Canal Street, it means man who talk too much get killed. Watch your ass. Yeah, you sound like a Chinese fortune cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> Forget about it. Careful, boys. Who the hell is he? Look at that freaking outfit, would you? Gentlemen, this is Hai Chu. Bless you. He's head of the Chinese family in Philly, here to discuss business. What's in it for him? We will see. Back in the day, Chu and Fat fell out. Something about a gambling debt and a girl. That bracelet is a reminder. And I'm up for re-election, so you better steady your relationships. If not, we're all ruined. The next commissioner will dismantle everything. <laughs> Power. That's what appeals to me. Power. <laughs> I want to know how I can start when love has always torn my heart. But if I feel the storm begin, 
my mind is of a fool's and I'm rushing to what I know will always be a trip through pain and ecstasy. But when my blood begins to raise, my adult trepidations all erase. What if she's the one I say? How can I let her get away? I just can't go another day without her by my side to stay. I want to know. Wisdom and knowledge are? Makaya. Yes. What is it that you are seeking? I seek advice from the all knowing Jade Brothers. Tell me, sir, I use the great sage knowledge. I am wisdom. Yeah, tell me there is knowledge. <laughs> Look, I could really use some advice. Huh? Does the dragon make the rain fall without first breathing in the sweet smells of the incense? They don't just chain. We're still make cheap, you know? Hey, that's for my new hip. When I get it, I'm gonna put my foot in Confucius' grace. Don't shine! Guys, a little focus. Look, today everybody in the city thinks I'm a hero. The girl of my dreams kissed me and I'm in love. I knew I was good, but I never worked this fast before. Widow Chang said, you too fast. That's not what your wife said. She never had it so good. Ha! Huh? Which wife? All of them. Guys, this is serious. <laughs> How could you be so sure? Look, it wasn't easy growing up the eldest son. It was my duty to bring great pride to my family. But I just couldn't measure up. <laughs> Hold it, you know Kung Fu? Hey, how much is the work over knowledge here? You mean to tell me the great Jade brothers don't know the martial arts? <laughs> Badminton was my game. Oh, sissy records and little birdies. If you're not going to help, I want my money back. Huh. Does the forest take back its silence when the woodchuck farts? Look, the point is, I never took to the whole Asian thing. It was Italian culture that grabbed me. Wait, Vincent, Vincent, you don't see me. I was wrong. I'm going home. Even though I was raised in Chinatown, I just felt like any other American kid in New York City. A city where you can be anything you want. Me, I wanted to be a wise guy. They get respect and were my role models as a kid. Vincent, you don't Let's go. No good. You're talking to me? Forget about it. You're a wise guy. You're talking to me? Forget about it. You're a wise guy. Hey, Vincent. You talking to me? I call your name. Who else would I be talking to? You talking to me? I'm looking right at you. Hey, Vincent. What are you? Huh? You're sick or something? Huh? Forget about it. You have ear problem, huh? As you can see, executing the wise guy attitude was gonna take some time. In fact, until last month, I wasn't even close. Now, my personal favorites are these cream filled. And, but for you, I'm thinking, are you like a egg tart kind of guy? Chocolate kind of guy. Right up here, we've got these. Oh, hey, Tina. How are things? Hey, Miss Mary. That's <laughs> Tina. Wow, right? She dates wise guys, so I never okay, really had a chance. Good, you know, that, and I always ready? made a fool of myself. Hold on. Uh, Donnie! Donnie, bring up the DePoco order! You okay? What, I got something on my face? Whoa, Tina. 
Danny. Mm. How are you? Mm. Oh my How are God. you? Good to see you. Okay. Hey, listen, you uh, you like lobsters and shrimps? Yeah, sure. How about I take you to the aquarium? We watch them run around a little. That don't sound fun. Let me take you out. Donnie, I told you a million times. You're a nice guy. Take a picture, last long, okay? This all could be yours, baby. This could be a future? Me, you, Miss Mary over here, <laughs> and all the lobster tails you could eat, baby. <laughs> Please. Uh, Can I get a bag, This is home, a five-story walk-up in Chinatown. It's traditional Chinese, except for the lottery tickets on Buddha's lap. Dad thinks vaping traditional herbs and reading yin and yang in the bedroom will keep him virile. I think it's working. Mom loves to cook, and those are my two little brothers, if you can believe it. What is this, an opium den? Yeah, this stuff balances your yin with your yang. You should try it sometimes, Vincent. You're always unhappy. That's a sign of imbalance. My balance is just fine. <laughs> Doesn't seem like balance to me. <laughs> Not for nothing, Pop, but you got Buddha, fortune cookies, lottery tickets, and buckwild adolescents. You work yourself ragged, but you never make it big. That don't seem like balance to me. You may be my number one son, uh, but I'm the giver of life here. Forget about it. Lobo, why does your son sound like one of those Mulberry Street Italians? Uh, if he doesn't want to be Chinese, how will you stop him? Joey's my best friend. He's always looking out for me. The Godfather is one of the greatest films of all time. Yeah. Dad, that kind of respect. That's a real man. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, I can get you guys. Yo. Let me get a. Uh, What's up, guys? Get a couple spicy sausages and mustard. And a couple of drinks. All right. Hey. Be smart, kid. Here you go, buddy. Ten bucks. Right here. Yeah. Hundred. Yeah. Like, there you go. Well, oh, that's a hundred, man. I don't have change. Keep, Keep it. it. All right. Thank you. Got any uh, tacos or enchiladas? We got hot links and bone-in hot dogs. What do you need? Right. All right. A uh, couple hot links, a little mustard, uh, two sodas. You got it. Hey, you got this one, Dawn, Vinny? Oh yeah. Mm. The presence of two real good fellas. Yeah. Surprise her in Manhattan. I need more than that. Thank you. What are you talking about? The mob's all over Manhattan. Yeah, Al Capella's been short, but that's what kind of meant those Brooklyn boys. And you know this because there's a Goomba Gazette? Nah, my Uncle Eddie works for Condimento. Is your Uncle Fountain Soda Eddie? Yeah, he makes sure all the syrups for the Fountain Soda machines are stocked. It's all these years, Joey Risotto. You never thought to mention your uncle was the Fountain Soda? Well, not a lot to talk about it. There she is, in all their heavenly glory. You know I'm Tina since we was in school. You didn't say nothing then, you won't now. Forget about it. She's my goddess, what can I say? Man up and ask her out. All right, I've got to go. I'm going to go to one of them bicycle classes. Oh, good for you. <laughs> all right, love, I'll see you. Come on over here. Hey, Gina, how about we romance a big apple just for you and I? Not a chance. Not even a maybe? First, you need a bib. MB, you ain't got no car, no connections, no nothing. A girl's got to secure her future. And when you can understand that, maybe you could get a girl like me. That's what I'm talking about. Follow me. How women resist you, I'll never know. Help me out. What do you want me to do about it? She's a lost cause. Introduce me to your uncle. Vin, in case you haven't noticed, you're not Italian. And not for nothing. It's a real dangerous life. Forget about it. Yeah, forget about it. Too much trouble for a girl anyway. Right? Forget about the girl? Have you lost your mind? You must always pursue the girl. Ha! You never pursue the girl in your life. Call girls, maybe. Would you two quit it and let me finish the story? So?
。Vincent， 唔好諗咁多嘢啦，打啲功夫出嚟啦。Allow the kung fu， 我 show you。I'm trying my best， 師傅。Good job， man。If you spend more time in the kung with us, you could have easily won. Vincent, you are a genius, but you are not able to use it. You are able to use it. You see the change? I get it. It's for self-defense, but practicing for mastery. What's the point, Zipu? This art is part of who we are. It connects us to our ancestors and culture. Kung Fu built character. Gaelic, Noisam, Gaelic. It all starts from the wound. You must do this to force your spirit. And it's a lot of fun, especially if I get to beat up on Vincent. Embrace Kung Fu. See the change. You've been practicing forever, Sifu. Doing the same thing every day. Is this life really good enough? Be more than enough. Don't let the world go to hell. So don't you get? You will see the change on you. Yum cha. That's what we got on this thing. Oh, okay. Mango. Yeah, it's on the thing. It's on the paper. <laughs> hey, Vincent, but for the jade stock. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I got so much stuff that's good for that, you little horn dog. Yeah. It'll fill your pecker like a balloon. Yeah. Well, bring me an extra ten boxes next week. Huh? With Chinese like the green tea. And I got avocados on special. Huh? They're good for the dopamine. Come on, man, do your job. Why don't you shove one of those bananas where the sun don't shine? I'm helping you out. Easy, easy. Oh, you're hey. useless, little man. This is my produce, huh? Help me get my produce. Wait. Hey. Hey. Help me. How are you doing? Come. I'd had it. It was time to join the mob, to get some respect, and get the girl. So I crossed Canal Street from Chinatown into Little Italy in search of my destiny. I stumbled onto the two good fellas from the hot dog cart. It looked like they were in the middle of a territory scuffle. You should be ashamed of yourself the way your oregano smells. It tastes like sweat. He's right, it does. Listen to me. You tell Condimento that Al Capella's got a message for him. What was that message again? The message is you don't sell a dash, a pinch, a shaker of your oregano. You hear me? You tell Mr. Condominium over there? You tell him we find out he sells even a sprinkle of that crap you guys are selling anywhere in this neighborhood. He's gonna have to answer to Mr. Capella. Gabish? It's now or never. Time to fulfill my destiny. <laughs> Want some mustard with that? Someone get some mustard for this line cutting bitch. Oh, who are you? Who interferes in the family business? If a man asks you a question, I'm Vinny Chow, proving myself mob worthy. Mob worthy? Shall we whack him? No, no, we'll bring him in. Grab him. Come on, you come with us. What? Come on, let's take him upstairs to see the boss. Everybody looking at me. Shut up. Keep walking. Here. You just get the money. I don't care where he is. You find him. I'll bring him down here. I want every penny he owes me. You understand? This is bull crap. Al. I don't... Al. Oh, I got to go now. Just do what I told you. Yeah, what's up, Frankie Browse? Well, we took care of Vito and Luigi. We sent a clear message to Condimento, that's for sure. That's good. But there's something else. We got a little bit of a situation, boss. What's that? Well, you'll see. Bring him in. We brought you a Chinatown special. Oh, the Mugu Guy pan. I love those little round pancakes. A dish with the little pancakes. That's Mushu, not Mugu. Get your hands off that. Mushu, Mugu. Screw you. They're no freaking raviolis, but I love those little round fluffy things with the bump on the top like that. So nobody brought me takeout. No, no, no. Like I was saying, we were sending a message out to Condimento. And then out of nowhere, this ninja shows up and starts dropping a one-two on Vito and Luigi. And I got to tell you, it was a beautiful thing. Yeah.
He starts shoving red hot pepper flakes down Vito's throat. I mean, the poor guy was had tears in his eyes. <laughs> I did it for you, Don Capella. You mean to tell me you three idiots couldn't take care of two jerk-offs from Brooklyn on your own? Idiots. Excuse yeah. me, boss, yeah. but with all due respect, I think we handled this thing just fine. We can't have the fine citizens of Lutley thinking we need help from the Chinese. You know what I'm talking about? No, we can't. That's why we brought them in. All right, forget that. I'm hungry. Order me the Chinese pancakes with the scallions and the sauce on it. And charge it to Spetsy. He owes me a lot of money. Yeah, why don't you two go find something else to do, huh? You, kid, you sit take down. a seat. All right, listen. What do you want from me, huh? While I'm in a good mood, talk to me. It all started when I was a kid, you oh, see. you got three seconds. I right? want to join the family and become a wise guy. That's <laughs> <laughs> a join the family. Bro. You ain't even Italian. I'm doing the best I can. My kid, look, he's still guy. He's got big balls, this kid. You don't join this here. I induct you into it. It's a special thing. And once I induct you, I give you an offer you can't refuse. Sure, I've seen the movies. You've seen the movies. This ain't the movies. There's no Chinese wise guys in movies. No. I had enough for you, kid. You keep sticking your nose in my business where it don't belong, and I'm not gonna put you on a slow boat to China. I'm gonna put you under one. Gabish, get Come him on, out of go. here. Come on, take a walk. He's not kidding. Come on, let's go. It's there. Going straight to the top was an epic fail, but I wasn't giving up. There had to be another way for a Chinese guy to get started in the Mafia. Listen to me. Yeah, what? Take it easy, OK? And then get up those steps. What do we get have up, to go in here for? Okay? What do you have to go here for? You know what you're going here for. In here? Where do you want to go? Get in. Let's go. Get in the ring. We'll straighten you out. What do you mean? What do you mean, straighten me out? Come on. Come on. Put these gloves on. Box around with little Johnny. They little call Johnny. him the masher. Wait a minute. Bring him to me. It is Richie, your lucky day. get everybody out. Later, Jim. So, my sources tell me Capella's been moving product into Brooklyn. Capella's man, Frankie Brown, has been messing with my clerks, forcing them to buy his grated cheese. Yeah, well, what would your boys do? They're just boys, what could they do? He made them sign the order. And no bulk this town. I sell the grated cheese and the garlic powder around Brooklyn. You don't buy nothing from that Manhattan wannabe. Get him out of here. Come on, come on, get up, get out. Let's go. Come on. Look at these two wannabes and their fake bruises. You two guys are pathetic. Too scared to say what really happened. Not for nothing, boss. We were doing good until a dozen ninjas attacked us. Ninjas? Yeah, boss. They like they came out of the shadows. Capella must have made a deal with that hung fat. The Italian and the Chinese working together. You know? It's unprecedented, but not impossible, given the tensions between the Italians. What are we going to do, boss? Well. We got hundreds of olive oil cans around. Maybe we put them all over Chinatown. Oh, olive oil's Capella's racket. Right, Chinese don't buy Italian. We need an inside man, someone expendable. I'm fat to go to war with Capella. Exactly. And while they're knocking each other off, we're going to move right in. Hey, we need an Italian that looks a little Chinese, kind of like a crossover. Yeah, that's a good idea. Go see who you can see. Who are we going to trust, boss? It's not about who we can trust. It's about who's dumb enough to do it. <laughs> <laughs> the highly effective maid guy instills fear through intimidation and allows no one to refuse him. He lets his will be known, but until a maid guy can say deeply and honestly, I am what I am today because of the choices I made yesterday, he cannot say, I've chosen the path of the maid guy. There's O'Greedy sneaking into Yam Cha Tong. 
Hung Fat's triad headquarters in the back of a restaurant. This guy's playing all sides. You come here, get us in trouble. The damn Italians can't work themselves out. The numbers are down and they're bringing attention to the operation. What is your pain? We partner to push out the Italians, keep the profits and the provolone. And what do you want? Enough cash to bribe some officials and you to find a way to get your products into Little Italy and Brooklyn. Okay. Me, money. No. Thanks a lot. Me okay. and you, us, together. What more could a girl want? Power, fame, fortune. And I'm working up. I told you. I'm you're wor working up. You always say you're working up. You're not even working. Look at the car, Tina. Look at the car. You. I feel Look like it's a rental. Well, oh, get out of here. Tina doll, I've come for you. Hey, get your stinking hands off my car. I'm talking over here. Hey, I'm Vinny Chow, independent associate. Uh, ain't you the guy who was trying to pick me up with a hot link? Uh, uh, no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was you. Uh, we all look alike. That's true. Are you sure? I said we're busy. Now scram. Hey, don't interfere with family business. I'm working for Al Capella. Oh, well, hold on. You're working for Mr. Al Capella? Well, I'm not working for Al Capella. Well, I'm not working for Al Capella. <laughs> yeah. Are you even Italian? Oh, you, you talking to me? Now get out of here. Tina, get in the car. Hold on. Yeah. A girl could get far with a guy connected to the Don. I'm gonna go shake down a deli. You're coming with me. See you around, Rocco. Tina, get in the car. Tina, forget about it. Hey, kid, don't you know drinking all that soda's bad for you? Yeah, my grandfather lived to be 80. Did he drink a lot of soda? No, he minded his own business. Oh, you little wise guy. Get out of here. Hey, get over, you little. Hit the road. Next. Oregano. $3.99, he's crazy. And it stinks. What are you doing, Vin? You know, you gotta watch what you eat these days. It's dry pasta. Those hydrogenated oils and trans fats. Forget about it. Uh, sure, whatever. Now go demand some money so you could take me shopping. And then maybe I'll take you somewhere. Do something or I'm leaving. Maybe I could still catch Rocco. Hey, are you salami? For Christ's sake, I'm counting money here. Hey, what a lovely couple. You like 69? I love beef and broccoli. I'm Vinny Chow, independent associate of Al Capella. I'm here to collect 300 large. I'm 300 large. Vinny Chow, what kind of name is that? I never heard of no Chinese with an Italian name. Just because someone looks a certain way. Vinny, give me a break, you. I'm here to collect. You don't pay, I gotta get rough. You're not even Italian. All right, I'll tell you what. Get anything you want, and I'll give you 30% off. You offering me a discount? I'm offering you a discount. You offering me a discount. Are you hard of hearing? I'm offering you a discount. I'm here shaking you down, and you want me to spend my money here. That's my one and only offer. Try the veal. I'm here all week. Next! Oh, buddy, your glasses are thicker than my provolone. Get out of here. All right. I'll take a pound of provolone. Coming right up. That's how you do business at Salami's Deli. You're not very good at this, Ben. Why do I need to explain this? Uh, because I'm holding groceries and you borrowed 20 bucks from me. Whoa. You let me handle the finances. Oh, you ain't gonna be handling nothing if you keep this up. 
Hey, Ma, we brought you some things. Did you go to Salome's today? You always gotta ask me this. What? It was 30 off today. Oh, sorry. Thank you for bringing this stuff over. Get in the car. I said get in the car. Get out of here, son of a Get out of here! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get him in there. Look at this. <laughs> Look at me, you. You think this is a big joke, huh? No, it's no joke. This is kind of funny, though, am I right? Oh, yeah? You think what I do is funny? Or maybe you think I'm funny. Funny how? What? No, I, I... I know what it is, you little rat. You think you're the godfather. Or maybe you think you're the freaking Pope of Greenwich Village, huh? I'm just trying to prove myself mob-worthy. This ain't the Sopranos, kid. I don't care what you do on the other side of Canal Street. But over here, nobody messes with Al Capella. I had enough for you. Get the bats. With pleasure. Please. No, 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 no. That, 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 that. Get the wax. No, not that one. No, not that one either. Cheese. You want to hit him with cheese? That's too expensive. That's the one. Crack him. All right, that's enough. Now get him out of here. Hi, ya. Why do you get pursue them? Where's the motivation? Every child wants to feel special. My parents with all their offspring. And that's all made guys getting attention and respect. Your family never rejected you. And May is there for you. No wise guy ever had a Chinese girl in his arm. You are disturbed in so many ways. So, what about your wounds? I went to ask my master for help. Huh, of course you did. I knew Sifu would fix me up without all the questions. What happened? Oh, I was admiring the majestic cherry blossoms when my bike flipped. If you would you ride up your kung fu, it won't be happening. Ah! When you understand your yu, that's all about it. He taught me about body pokemons used to heal or hurt someone. <laughs> I came as soon as I could. I got something that you were rushing. Excuse me. What happened? Fell on the bike. You don't have a bike. <sighs> Ice cream? I wanted to get the best jade bracelet for my girl. And Ting's was just the place. Best place for Chinese ice cream. They have lychee with red beans and sweet and sour sauce and no MSG. Why now I look like an asshole? They didn't open the door. It's all right. I can buy you ice cream. Your own art gallery. Exciting. I know. The opening is in a week. Would you go with me? Sure. Promise? You did all these? Yep. All of them. You're really talented. 
Thank you for noticing. You have so many admirers, why aren't you dating? I guess I just had my heart set on one special guy for as long as I can remember. Now how you feel, May. Vincent, I... No matter how hard I try, I just can't get Tina to fall for me. Have you tried to be yourself, Vincent? I mean, why try to be like others? You're perfect as you are. I don't expect you to understand. To understand you can live Italian when you're Chinese. Did not acting Chinese stop Warner Olin from being Charlie Chan? He was acting for television, playing a stereotype. Like you're doing right now because you think a certain kind of girl will like you. It's not real. You pretend to be nice, May. You're judgmental like the rest. Vincent, that would never... I need some air. I'm gonna have lunch with Joey anyway. Please don't go. Men at some time are masters of their fates. The fault, dear Brutus, is not in our stars, but in ourselves that we are underlings. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Um, wait, uh, who, who has the flyers for the show? My mom says hi, and this is for you. Oh, I love me some Mexican. Good afternoon, Joseph. What's going on, Lawrence? Oh, you look horrendous. Oh. And you look like you could use some stress relief. Here. Let me get those shoulders. <laughs> hey, Lawrence. Oh, it's never easy, is it? <laughs> anyway, here are some flyers for our new production of Julius Caesar. Come down to the Playhouse and play with us sometime. Asians don't look good in tights. Yeah? Says you, Lord. Those bags under your eyes are bigger than a queen's purse. I am offended by this. Blech. Do yourself and me a favor and apply some preparation H. His eyes are swollen, not his ass. It constricts swollen tissue, sweetie. Oh, uh, do you mind taping these to the tops of pizza boxes so they go out with deliveries? Yeah, put a stack over there. Ah, you are a doll. OK, I take my leave of you. I will see you Saturday at brunch. Yeah, forget okay. about it. OK, bye. Yeah. What's what you anyway, man? I'm just feeling down. My room. You didn't expect to do what you did and not get roughed up, did you? I mean, trying to extort a pound of provolone on a Capella's corner? I was doing it for Tina. Anyways, May and I had a fight. Well, whatever it is, she's probably right. The people close to you don't like to see you get hurt. No. Put a word in with your uncle. If a cappella won't take me, maybe Condimental will? That's a big request. I know. If it backfires, it'll break your legs, but that's what friends do, right? Oh, all right. I, 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 I can talk to him. Thanks. Hung Fat had the idea of relabeling ramen noodles as Marco Polo pasta and moving them into Little Italy. Gentlemen. The Italian stole our noodles. Call it spaghetti. We must steal it back. Japanese ramen. Why not Chinese noodles? It's wrong. <laughs> Stupid fool. We must 
Respect on our noodles. We use Japanese to fool Italians. Ha 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 ha. That might work for a while, but we'll need a better plan to ruin them. I want all their territory, all of it. Everything is good. Our trucks are ready to deliver first thing tomorrow. I've got men in place to arrest the Italians if they start trouble, disturbing the peace and all that. You know, we will always. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If his plan backfires, there's going to be big trouble in Little Chinatown. So Hung Fat called on its top masters and their disciples for backup. Don't hit that. We're drawing up the sauce over here at the kitchen conciliary now, and we're using all your spices to make it, and uh, we're going to sell it in the supermarkets, and here's the best part. I get 10%. 10. Well, if you only want 10, but we got you in for 20. Oh, you're beautiful. Thank you. And Capella thinks he's in for a bigger yeah, you know what? 5%, and that's it for him. You did the right thing. You made the right decision. You know, I had my doubts about you, but you did good, you know, Listen, right? Listen, I okay. hope so. All right, we'll talk later. All That's right. better. You take care, all right? Okay, take goodbye. Care. All right. Oh, yeah, like an animal over there, huh? Like a drink, like a man, like a man. This boss. Like, you see this guy, Jojo? He used to work for Capella. Now he's with us. He understands. Yeah, he may understand, but does he remember? And where are my two leaders? Understanding is not enough. You need to control them. I control him. You see how much he shows me respect? That's reactionary. If you're going to win this war, you need to be proactive. Start moving product into new territory. Slash the tires of your competition and take over their routes. I'm doing everything you want me to do, but I need more insurances. I'll make sure you men don't get arrested. You got to up the effort. Oh, that was weird. Tell me, huh? Do me a favor. Go to the pharmacy, pick me up some meds, huh? And uh, some extra strength, little blue pills. Blue pills. Hey, what do you have, a problem with your pipes and your equipment? But Fong Gu, it's my 25-year-old girlfriend. And those fried empanadas, I can't resist either. Why don't you try these? They work for me. <laughs> Hey, yeah. Yeah, how you doing, Joey? Uh-huh. How's your mom? Good, good, yeah. Yeah, 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 shoot. 
Oh, really? All right, I'll see what I can do. What's that? You got that look. That was my nephew. You won't believe what he just asked me. It's like a miracle from the Lord. How is that? He's got this friend who's got that specific look we were talking about. He wants a job. Why don't you ask the guy to meet us at the diner? I'll be in the back listening in, OK? Joey, thank you so much for talking to your uncle for me. It's OK. He said he had a, uh, a dangerous job for a unique type of individual. Dangerous? You want this or not? Yeah, you have. That guy don't give up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a lemon lime, uh, we got a cherry, and we got a regular. Anything else? Never grab another man's beverage. It appears that you, Mr. Chow, are uniquely qualified for a very special job. Thank you, Uncle Eddie. May I call you Uncle? No, you may not. No, of course not. Uh, Mrs. Soda. Hey, pay attention over here. Hey! You don't snap at me. Look, you got this or what? Because I got to go. Be at my place at 7 o'clock tonight. Bring this dinner. And do me a favor, Tina. Don't be late. OK? Mm -hmm. You are not going over there. What can a girl do? It's slim pickings around here. Well, it depends on what you're looking for. Every girl deserves a man willing to build a life together. I think you should know that this job presents a unique challenge. It is very dangerous. Do we understand? Vinny's up for any challenge. When we're together, you don't speak unless I tell you. Do you understand? Yeah. OK. Yeah. OK, Don Condimento wants to talk to you personally. I'm going to take you back to see him, OK? Listen, you act cool and you don't make a scene. We don't want any undue attention. Do we understand? Yeah, of course, for sure. What's wrong with you? I told you to be cool. You wrinkled my jacket. Sorry, I didn't know take you to the back meant one booth. Come on, get in there, the two of you. Sit down. Move over. Come on. I understand you're looking for a job with the family. I understand. You're willing to do what it takes to earn a position in the family. I understand that you don't ask questions. Yes, Mr. Condimento. No, 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 no. You don't talk to me. In fact, you never met me. If you got something to say, you say to Eddie here. Please tell Mr. Condimento I said yes, sir. You will distribute 300 gallons of olive oil in Chinatown, clean and simple. This is unorthodox, never been done, and you don't mess up, or you will face serious consequences, serious consequences for you and your family. Do we understand? Yeah, yes. You won't regret this. You don't talk to nobody, nobody about this arrangement. Huh? Do we understand? Enough with this do we understand. I think he understands. Sorry, boss. You know how I get when I don't have my soda. Do we understand? All right, leave now. Come on, get out of here. I think that went really well. Yeah? Mm. You know? I think we just found someone stupid enough to do this. I think we did. <laughs> you gotta watch all that sugar. You're gonna catch the diabetes. Use protection. 
because I got four skippers coming in. Still not one of them I think is working for Condomendo. We got to find out who it is. All right, well, I got to get going, boss. Hey, you, know, you ain't going nowhere. Sit down. Well, what's up? You might have to make funeral arrangements for somebody. Funeral arrangements for who? Who died? I don't know yet. Look at me. Look at me. What I got to deal with. What are you looking away for? Al, can you let me off the hook, please? For old time's sake. So, Joe. I love you. <laughs> God bless you, pal. Ave Maria, gracia plena. Things good, huh? Maria, Did you get the message? I just had the greatest day. May, I'm sorry about yesterday. I just was a little anxious about things. Tell us about your day. Yes. Where have you been, Vincent? You're supposed to be here at noon to watch your siblings. I had a job interview. An interview? What position? Delivering olive oil. Italian olive oil, huh? How much should I pay you? It's a trial period. Forget about it. Oh, boy, uh-huh. Did you hear this? Huh? The Italians are making slave labor of the, of the stupid among us. Oh, my Lord, I'm dying over here. What happened to your Chinese accent, Vincent? I was raised in New York, Ma. I never had a Chinese accent. Are you too much spaghetti when he's out? Vincent, my gal is in a couple of days. You promise to escort me? I'll be there, May, I promise. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have a really big day tomorrow. When he comes around, the world will finally make sense. <sighs> we only wish the best for Vincent. But why you wait for him is a great mystery. It's all I can do. I love his authenticity. He lives from his heart. Mm, if only his authentic heart produced authentic jobs. There I was, pushing Italian olive oil in Chinatown. My first stop was Lou's Herbal Shop. That's it. What have you got there? Ancient Lou, this is olive oil. Difficult product to sell in Chinatown. It's the best olive oil money can buy, though. Fresh olives pressed only once. It's called extra virgin. Virgin? We like our virgins. Yeah. How many cases do you want? Uh, you can infuse them with your tonics. My herbs make a limp man solid. Your father, best customer, enormous libido. Makes his back weak. Cause and effect, you know? Sure. Because you're so good to my father, I'll give you a discount. You're a good son. You look after your parents and you care for their health. That is honorable. Thanks, Ancient One, but I. Your father has good credit here. Ancient Lou is just so darn polite and spiritual. Go. Or did he just hustle me? Hey, how you doing? You want some olive oil? What? You want some olive oil? No. No? Are you sure? This was an actual job with the mob. But no one was taking the oil. I 
I just had to prove myself. I couldn't fail. It's time to use intimidation and force the noodle maker to buy olive oil. I don't buy peanut oil only! I got a full shipment of olive oil. I tell you, I have plenty of oil here. No, no, no. I give the orders around here. Go tell your little boys to go stock it. Forget about it. Forget about nothing. I hit you again. Waste my time. Say it out. Put it out. Yeah, ginger fresh. Huh? Just come in. Oh, look at this lettuce, huh? Organic, huh? Ah, oh, excellent okra. Yeah, good. So, you're here, huh? Yes. <laughs> Look at these oranges, huh? Fresh. Just dropping off some things from the engine. Oh. <laughs> Got some things in there from not too. All right. Oh, yeah, it's nice. I... Oh, Tom, please. Oh, my God. Sorry, huh? <sighs> Yeah, yeah, take this one. This one whole, not not broken. Yeah. 唔緊要啦,我哋電腦全部都有記錄,唔似嗰啲大電腦咁落後用筆幾俾人偷啊,更何況我哋啲差佬都收曬我哋片啊。Olive oil in Chinatown. Vincent Chow. I can deal with him. Hey, me Vincent Chow. No! Hang <laughs> God, knock it off. Sit down. This is very important today. Don Vincenzo's coming in from Sicily to set things right between the crews. Condimento's got no power, though. Well, he's got enough juice to bring the dine in on special occasion, doesn't he? Yeah. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pick him up at the airport. You got it? I'm gonna show him the ledger. I gotta be very persuasive. You two get the limo ready. Make sure it's polished. Make sure the cheese is aged. And you know what? Get some homemade wine. I think the old man will like that, okay? And then go to Chinatown and find out what the hell is going on over there, because something in kosher. What are you waiting for? Go! They're like the gang that couldn't shoot straight, these two. Where'd you get them? Ah, to me. Me, how are you and Vincent uh, getting it on? Yeah, Auntie is only <laughs> looking after your future. Vincent has yet to have a nice day. We have hoped that the two of you. Mm -hmm. uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We just want the best partner for our May. Look at you with your art opening. Hello. <laughs> Dude, oh my God, guys, um, have you heard? Vincent, I mean, Vinny has been hanging out in Little Italy acting like a Guido. Is that true, Vincent? Did you act like a Guido? No, not like a Guido. Mm-hmm. Yo, know, everybody's been talking about it, and that like he's trying to get with this girl who goes around and tries to steal some cheese from a deli. He wasn't stealing anything. Mm -hmm. uh, May. I can't believe May would just walk out like that. Oh, no. May. Forget about that. Tonight is about you. It's your special night. I have loved you my entire life, Vincent. I always thought if I waited long enough, you would recognize your feelings for me too. I've only wasted my time. I just never thought. That's just it, Vincent. Why do you think I'm always at your house? I'm there to see you, to spend time with you. She had so many moments, yet been oblivious to them all. That's not true. I... Chad, what's wrong with that mm. son of yours? Uh, you should love him. He doesn't act Chinese. Vincent. Vincent, carefully. Hung fat looking for you. Desperia. A few cans, that's all there was. No. You want to hang your one hand? He may rush your home. 
but at least you live. Wait, right? make sure you do that. I've been watching from the shadow. Look, Ma, look what that cute Chinese boy gave me. Who? Oh, that delivery boy from the other day? <laughs> he doesn't stand a chance with you. You never know. What is it? You don't like Italians anymore? What, you're like Chinese now? You know, Ma, race has got nothing to do with it. Stop already. It's cute. Yeah. It's a little cute. He's yeah. cute. He's very small. It's cute. Hung Fat was coming for me. Tina started liking me. May's mad at me, and my parents were threatened. It's no wonder I ended up in trouble. Oh, we gonna see about that, honey. Well, hello, Vincent. Mm. I think I'm being followed. If things didn't go well? I hardly placed any cans. It's like the Chinese don't speak my language. OK, enough of this dumbness. What gives? I'm trying to distribute the mob's Italian olive oil in Chinatown. I'm supposed to explain myself to the triads who found out, but now are following me. Wait, wait, the mob? The triad? Uh, OK, look, I am not one to judge a lifestyle, but damn, this is some crazy shit. I don't want to face Chinese water torture. I don't want to wear cement boots either. I told you family life was dangerous. You got to lay low today after brunch. Vincent. When the actor embraces their role, the audience just can't resist. They're hooked. Yeah, then you gotta walk it like you talk it. And you better speed walk it, or we're all gonna be in deep shit. I'm not gonna be in deep shit. We are gonna be in deep shit. OK. Right. I've come this far. No turning back. Time to play the main guy role. No more eating rice. Mm, testify, little brother. No more eating egg rolls. Embrace the wise guy within. Forget about it. It's like if you agree with someone, you know? Like Scarlett Johansson's one great piece of ass. Forget about it. <laughs> but it also can mean go to hell, too. Like, hey, Polly, you got a one-inch pepper. Oh. But sometimes it just means forget about it. Bravo, Vinny. Bravo. Forget about it. Forget, forget about, about it. it. You know what you want to order? Never a knife when you need one. Thank you. Vincenzo! I got this. I never invited you out to brunch. Time's running out, Mr. Vinny. I'm Special Agent Johnson, and this is my partner, Special Agent Johnson. Oh, that's cute. Like uh, Johnson and Johnson. I love the baby oil. We prefer the two Johnsons. Double Dutch fudge, double, double Dutch fudge. We're with the Department of Food Safety and Hygiene. Is that a real thing? 
It's been a rough couple of weeks, hasn't it, Mr. Chung? Oh, oh, oh I, I told him. I told him it would be a bad idea. That was some crazy ass triad shit. I know there, Mr. Lawrence. Your martial arts skills are pretty good. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> I'm just trying to uphold the long line of black martial arts heroes. Like Ron Van Cleef, the Black Dragon? Jim Kelly in Into the Dragon, and his Black Belt Jones. Wesley Snipes in Blade? Oh, oh, and Eddie Griffin in Undercover Brother. Oh, jeez. What? It's a good film. Uh-huh. Mr. Ching, we've been tracking the Food and Spice Distribution Syndicate of the New York Mob, and we're well aware of your interactions with Capella and Condimento. Commissioner O'Greedy has joined forces with the evil triad leader, Hong Fat to take over Little Italy. And thanks to your olive oil fiasco, Hung Fat's looking for you. I was just trying to extort some cash and distribute some olive oil cans. And what's with this Ching Chong? My last name is Chow. Sorry, we got you confused with the other Korean gentleman we we're tailing. That's racist. I'm not Korean, I'm Chinese. Hmm, I thought you were Italian. Only in his mind. You're not helping. I'm just saying. Gentlemen, concentrate. Kind of men will set you up to fall like a souffle. Your friends, your family, they're all in danger. We believe we may have a way out for you. And we believe you have the motivation to pull this off. Yes. Anything to protect my family and friends. Good. Vincenzo Cento, the Sicilian Don of all Dons, will be arriving in New York to broker a meeting between Condomeno and Capella. That's where you come in, Mr. Chow. What? We need their legends showing where they get the products, how they're stored, and what the real exploration dates are, and everybody involved. We need all this stuff to nail these guys. But what does that have to do with me? We need you to go undercover, deep undercover, infiltrate the mob, and get those ledgers. We need you to impersonate the Don. No way. I've seen the movies. You go in alive, and you come out dead. And it's usually your best friend who does it. I don't want to put Joey through that pressure. I appreciate that. I couldn't even extort provolone. And I don't even look Italian. A white guy played Charlie Chan. I believe him. Charlie Chan's a white guy? Besides, no one's seen the Don. There's not one photo of him. And your friend Lawrence here is pretty good with makeup. He could actually make you look like the Don. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Hell no. No. That shit ain't gonna work. Thanks, Lawrence. Well, the Johnsons are right, though. This is the only way we can fix it. What would Shakespeare do? <sighs> Though this be madness, yet there is method in it. Ah, what the hell. Besides, I might like me an Italian gangster to rough me up. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at you, Vinny Chow. <laughs> OK, gentlemen, so we have an agreement? Excellent. Good. Let's do it. Whoa, whoa! Charlie Chan's a white guy? This is the big moment to be the Don. It's do or die. We've never met. We've known each other many years, but this is the first time you came for me for counsel or for help. Godfather, if I must say, we are so grateful for your counsel. It's truly our loss that you are so far away in the old country. How did this happen? A rivalry within the family. Hey, I sell the spices and the herbs, but this greedy acapella, he's like a little baby boy. He wants all the candy for himself. Look, product out big, profit in small, invoices from Brooklyn paid, invoices from Manhattan not paid. Mm -hmm. You're giving me a lot of answers, but you're not giving me the right ones. I, I got to say, boss, I think the Don is right. I think we should cooperate. Yeah, well, this bum is full of shit because he's taken way more than he deserves from the back end. You want to see? Here, Godfather, excuse me. Take a look at this. I 
I like to run this bum out of town, but you know what would happen? The Chinese would detect that we got weakness in the family, and then they'd run in right away with their gingers and their spices, five spices, in fact. How about the mushu pancakes, huh? Fluffy, am I right? Fluffy. Forget about it. Fluffy. Mushu pancakes. There's nothing quite like a good pasta and sauce. Pasta? Who calls it pasta? This spaghetti and this macaroni. Forget about it. This tastes like freaking cardboard. Do me a favor, sweetheart. Get the box, huh? Let me look at this. What brand? Marco Polo, what is this shit? What's up, boy? Roman King, you believe this? Get it out of here. Clear the table. I Vinny. knew it. I knew it. He's a fake. It's that wannabe Vinny Chow. Get the bastard. Yeah! Ah! He's working for the triads. I knew it. I thought nobody yeah. makes a fool of Capella and gets away with it. Get online, pal, because he's got your ledger, too. What? Get the Chinaman. That's it. I'm calling Luca. He's calling Luca? He's calling Luca for Jolie. <laughs> Hang on. You just got lucky. Wait on round two. Yeah. Oh, boss. Do me a favor, huh? Get the stilettos, the guns, the knives, whatever you got, and bring them down here. And I want you to grab Johnny T, Produce Joe, Donnie the Baker, and Salami the Deli Man, all the right? The Deli Man? What's that fat rat bastard gonna do, sit on him? <laughs> <laughs> we need manpower, shut up. Ask them to call up the rest of my guys here. I got, I got yeah, no yeah, service yeah. here. OK, yeah. And do me a favor, call Gonda Mendo's garlic goombas, all right? This idiot forgot to charge his phone again. Oh, what else oh. is new? I had a busy day. I ain't got no time to charge yeah, a phone. Yeah, I know. You're probably calling the broads. What was that? A song of one hand cupping. <laughs> Three against one. You are a very careful young man. He could tell Tong and Guy, Bong Yi Dai Li Lu, my gum lam, Dum Zong Li Tong and Guy, Bong Li Mai, Fortune Cookies, huh? It wasn't really working for them. Bullshit! It was just a trial. Trial? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, I told you, this is a 人生最快乐的事,就自己压下自己,自己猜下自己,是不是啊? I was just trying to impress a girl, get a little respect and make a little money. You out of all people should understand that. Wrong! No one guess! Million Chinatown! You guys got problems. Hey. Hey. You okay? There's no time. I have to get Hung Fat's ledger. Get that to the agents. I'm going to Hung Fat's warehouse. Call Lawrence. Sifu, let's go.
We're too old for this. You ain't kidding. My back is killing me. Let's go sit down. Let's What's the matter? You got sciatica or something? I got something. I don't know. My leg is hurting. Well, I know this masseuse, you know. Yeah? Yeah, come Does on. she do happy ending? Oh, yeah, dude. They don't fight like we used to. Yeah, I taught you everything you know. Yeah, I know. You taught me the one five, one five. Two, three, and four, right, God. Thanks a lot. Me. Good job, officers. I have intel that'll put these gangsters away for life. I'm on your side. That damn Vincent Chow. He can say forget about it, just not in Chinese. His mom sent him out for low main. He came back with penne. What the hell's going on? What's this? You played me like a puppet. Yeah, and it was a good plan, too, huh? Am I right? Am I right? What do you think of me now, Mr. Capella? You surprised us all, you freaking rat. You'll get yours. What, you got shoe polish on your eye? 
Come on, don't, don't be so rough, huh? Can I get a soda? Come on, I feel a little parched. <laughs> Mr. Chow, a couple questions for you. I'll meet you outside in a minute. Well, Vin, you're even more powerful than the mob. A girl could really have a future connected to a guy like you. I always lose the good one. How do you see my problem? Oh, you got a problem. Okay, let's see if we got this. Are you a Chinese guy who seek out a gay black man and turn you into an Italian wise guy? You like a girl who has no interest in who you are, but she's Italian and has a nice body. And another girl who likes you for who you are, but you're no interest in her because she's Chinese. You dismiss your Chinese family and culture, and your only friend is an Italian boy who's now Mexican. And you manage to get the Italian and the Chinese mafia trying to kill you. Forget, Forget about, about it. it! And yet, in the end, you foiled them and become a hero. And now, you're in love. Did we miss anything? No, but when you put it that way, it just sounds so unhealthy. Unhealthy, yes, but understandable. I was just looking for acceptance, respect, and the love of a woman. And you achieved all that, not from intimidation, but while being selfless and helping others. But May Saltina kissed me and ran off. I've lost her. You have not lost her? She's waiting for you to come to her. Forget what we say. Wisdom and knowledge is within you. Go. Go get the girl. I couldn't reach May. I called, left her messages, texts, and social media posts. She finally texted me to meet her on the rooftop. I wanted to thank you for everything and that I've been a real jerk. Yes, you have been. Look, I came all the way from Columbus Park to tell you that you're charismatic, beautiful, and that I want to be with you. What about Tina? What about the mob? Forget all that. I was misled and now I know who I really am. Look, I want you to have this. Are you kidding me? I would never accept a recycled gift. And you understand that you can get a girl like me. Hey, I'm trying my best to tell you that I love you. You're not a very well put together guy, Vincent. Look, a guy's got to look out for his own future. And I want you in mine. Here's your real gift, mate. My grandmother's Jade Buddha. It's, it's precious. You know, we could make a big family and start our own La Familia and take over Lower Manhattan. Better yet? Maybe we move down to Philly and infiltrate the cheesesteak business. Ah, forget about it. I didn't see you coming until it was too late. I didn't see you coming. I thought I'd have to wait. I didn't see you coming. I thought I would be blue. 
conduct, baby I never expected you I didn't know what hit me Until I hit the ground I didn't know what hit me I didn't make a sound I didn't know what hit me You shook me through and through Because baby I never expected you I never expected to feel this way again But it seems we've met and kissed before Although I cannot tell exactly where or when I never knew the magic A single kiss could give My poor heart live I never knew the magic That only you could do Because baby I never expected you expected you 